Hello everybody, this is Drifting Nitro here, going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use the 3D Eden Editor and merge it with their SG template so that way you can properly set up a file and export it to me so I can put it on the servers. Let's go! So what we're going to do now is we're going to get the SG template from our app data. So we're going to go to the users, uh, sorry, C drive, you're going to go to users, you're going to go to your user. You're going to have to type in spec slash app data hit enter, go to local, go to Arma 3, go to multiplayer mission cache. After you go to multiplayer mission cache, you're going to see all these, and these are all have this icon because I have a program called PBO Manager, which you're going to need. I'll put a link in the description below, and you're going to download that, install it, and you're going to right-click on any of these properties and change it to open PBO Manager. Now, after that, you're going to be able to double-click any of these. So let's take the Stratus one, for example. I don't know where to go. There it is. You're going to right click. You're going to extract to the folder. And now, if you scroll all the way down, uh, you're going to be able to see that this is now the mission folder. You're going to take this. You're going to cut it because we don't want it here anymore. It has no use here. You're going to go to your documents, Armor 3, other profiles. You're going to go to here. You're going to go to your missions. I have a bunch of other ones you won't have here because I need to keep pulling them out of there and categorizing them. But you will just have missions and saved and user saved. And you're going to right click and I already have it here. So you're going to paste. Now they got all that set up. We're going to go to the game. So I'm going to start by doing the scenario where you've already built something and you want to simply make it available for the server. So let's say I built a base with some stuff and I said that oh I want to play this mission now I want to fight some bad guys let's put some bad guys down So now that we've finished our quick little scenario here, we're going to go to the scenario. We're going to save that. And we'll just save this specific one as First Eden. Now it is saved with the nice little click sound. Now the question usually comes for people who've made stuff in Eden saying, well, now that I've made this, how do I actually get it with our template? Because obviously there's no template over here. The SG Airbase isn't here. Now you already have the mission files because at the beginning of the video you were exporting the Stratus template along with any other templates that you may have had. Um, it's also good to make sure that the date modified is the latest so that way you don't accidentally use something that isn't as recent. Since I know all of these were extracted on February 11, 2016, we're going to do that no problem. Going to import. And as you can see here, this is the SG template that includes all the triggers, all the players, all the modules, all sorts of crazy stuff that you would never have actually had seen before, including my special Easter egg ACT that I built up here. So while Eden may not have included the inbuilt merge function, they built something about as good, which is when you copy, go to transfer, sorry, edit, copy, and then you load back on the SG template. You'll find that you can right click, edit, paste in original position. And this is the key one because it's going to put everything back in the same exact coordinate spots that you can. So I bring the camera over here, you'll see everything is exactly the same. And we got the SG template in. So now you have successfully created a new mission. Time to save it. Let's go to scenario, save as. Let's call this uh, for naming conventions for SG. We use when we have a operation instead of a template, we use op. And instead of Stratus, you do the op name. Please name them as such so that we can keep the servers organized and avoid confusion among people who are trying to select maps. So now that we have everything about this mission ready, we're going to have to go back to our file browser to copy all the necessary files to make all these triggers and functions work that are on the SG template. So we're going to be going back to our good old mission folder here. So we're going to go to uh, the SG Stratus one first. We're going to take all these files except for the SQMs, the things that say mission, very specific. You're going to copy. 
you're going to go to missions you're going to go to the op one and you're going to paste it's going to paste all the necessary files and now we are all set so we're going to go back to the game now now that all the files are set we're just going to go to the scenario we're going to go to the export as we're going to go to the export as multiplayer boom now that we've done that, now we got to go to our Steam directory. So we're going to go to uh, wherever you put your Steam, I suppose. Steam, Steam apps, common, Arma 3. You're going to go to lower, 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 MP missions here. Here's your mission file. It's going to be about this size. If you add additional textures or images or something, it'll be bigger than this. But if it's uh, somewhere around, uh, for example, like this, something's wrong because the mission file itself when you open it in PBL manager as you can tell is going to already have uh, things in here alright so now we got this we're going to take this we're going to put it in the our favorite sh file sharing program Google Drive Dropbox whatever works for you just don't send me something that will get me a virus otherwise I'll never well I just won't do anything other than Google Drive or Dropbox so don't expect it now we're going to go back into the game so I can show you it working so as you can see here, we're playing our scenario and having a great time with Outlaw and all sorts of fun stuff, right? This is this is it. This is Eden. Mission's on the server. I'm playing it. Congratulations. You've done your first Eden mission, and I'm taking fire. The best part about this is that the mission maker can still use Zeus if they're wishing to and allows them to do a lot of uh, additional stuff, add additional units, move units around, remote control, and do all that fancy stuff still while still having the power of the 2D editor at their disposal in a more suitable format for beginners. Now one thing you will have to do here is that you will need Ares and you will need to add objects to Zeus if you do actually want to properly have control over some of these things since the editor does make it not show up. But also might make this count as a new showcase for all the uh, new sounds going on.